Oh, hold on, I can't really hear myself though. Uh, no, I'm good. You good? Yeah. Okay. You good? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Alright. <laughs> Hello and welcome to episode five of the Two Steps Forward podcast. What up? What up? What up? What's going on? So we were we were off last week a little bit. I had a. Uh, had strep throat, so um, sorry about that, guys. But it's good to be back with y'all. That's what that's what it ended up being. Say so, yeah, yeah. It ended up being strep throat. So what like was it the fever. I mean, because you thought you had the flu right at first. Yeah. Um. No, nah, I didn't think I had the flu at first. I just knew I was sick. I wasn't True. really sure. But True. as soon as I went to the doctor, they were like, they were like, yeah, man, it's strep. So I couldn't really talk. I couldn't eat anything. I actually lost a little bit of weight. Strep is the worst because yeah. it's like swallowing anything feels like you're swallowing glass. Yeah, man. You know? It's like shards, bro. Yeah, that's the. Does that feel? I mean, I don't want to ever get sick, but that's the li- that's probably on top of my list as far as like, as far as like common stuff that people have, like yeah. beyond like death type stuff. That's the worst in my opinion. Yeah, it was my first time having it too, and I'm I'm oh, definitely I'm definitely not looking for it, and I, I don't want to ever have strep throat yeah. again. I've only had it once, but working with kids, they always have it. But my immune system is kind of like strong now after working with the kids, so. Let's come work at a preschool, man. You be all right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give it, the first year, you're going to be sick a lot. Second year, third year, you'll be good. Yeah. But yeah, man. Word, word. All right, so let's let's just get into uh, a little bit about um, what released this past week. Yep. There's a lot that happened previous weeks as well, um, but, you know, with us being out. Yeah. Um, so the the first one was the restock of the aliens. We've already talked about these a ton of times, so right. I really need to spend a lot of time for them. Yeah, did you try? Yeah, yeah, I tried for them. I didn't end up getting them. Um, I, I also didn't try, like, super hard. I just, like, loaded lo- up some, some guest users on Chrome. Was it on Yeezy on, Supply? On Yeezy Supply, yeah, 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 yeah. So, have you ever won on Yeezy Supply? I have, yeah. I got Wave runners from Easy Supply, okay. um, and then I also got like I think some uh, some three fifties. I, I don't know if it was the Citroens, but like a, a, a pair of three fifties in the past I'd gotten from Easy Supply as I well. Gotcha, I yeah. gotcha. Um, had the bread elevens coming out. Yeah, bread elevens, bread elevens. <laughs> <laughs> was it yesterday? It was yesterday. Yeah, um, on my birthday. It's one of it's kind of fitting because it's like. Uh, I kind of went back and forth about whether I wanted these or not because I, I got the Concourse last year, and I ended up I ended up giving them to my cousin. And but the Bread Elevens were the first Jordans I ever liked because before Bread Elevens, I was always on the tip of like, I think Jordans are ugly, this and that. But I think I used to always just see like the old the the newer Jordans, you know, like yeah. the Thirteens. Uh, actually, now I like the Thirteens, like Fourteens and up, you know. And um, but the Bread Elevens is kind of like nostalgic for me, so I kind of really wanted those like. I took a lot of L's this well, not a lot, but I took some L's this week, and I was like, I gotta get these at least, you know. Yeah. And when I saw the pictures of um, the pictures of how they look, it kind of is really reminiscent. The first Bread Elevens I got I bought on Nike Talk in like 2008, but they were the 01 pair, and this pair is very reminiscent of the 2001 pair, you know. Yeah. So you're saying like it's like a similar cut? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so. I got, the more I saw pictures, the more I was like, because I don't know if I told you, I definitely told Nick that I wasn't going to get these because I was like, you know, I was, the 11s, like, they're not a shoe that I really rock. But I think I mainly meant, like, the Concourse, like, white shoes, unless it's, like, some forces or something like that. I don't wear a lot of white shoes, you know. Some some I do, but there's something about the Concourse it's like, too classy. I, yeah. I don't know, you know. I'm just, like, struggling to, to get comfortable right now, <laughs> nah, man. You, you, yeah, you figure it out. <laughs> but, yeah, no, nah, but when I saw the 11s, I just, like, I had to have them, but. I didn't get them on sneakers, and it's like, actually, no, 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 I'm lying. I I was pending on sneakers for, like, 20 minutes. I had my brother try. Oh, you were pending for 20? For 20 minutes, bro. Wow. And I, I don't think I told you this. I told Nick this. Pending for 20 minutes, and then they gave me the, the, the message of um, sold out. I was like, I right, whatever. Immediately, I went to try for a size 10, and I got it within 30 seconds, you know? Yeah. But peep this. I had a friend who was also pending for a size 10 for 20 minutes, and I was able to get before him while he was still pending. Interesting. So it's like, you know, I don't know what the deal is with sneakers. I don't know how he didn't get it, but I did. Interesting. You know? so, so like the the like the lineup had ended 
right for the size ten, but he was still in line. Right, because because for me, like it told me I was sold out, and I was like pick another size, huh. and I I saw like I think size ten, ten and a half, and eleven were still they they were still. I mean, sneakers does that a lot where they show that they're still available, mm-hmm. and you still try, and then it says nothing. Yeah. So I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna try because at this point, my brother already told me that he had he had hit for me, and I was like, I'm gonna just try it out because you know whatever you know it, it can't hurt if I ended up with another pack and just get rid of it, you know. Yeah. And then that's exactly what happened. So. Yeah, so I ended up. I I told you in the morning I got a like a ten and a half pair from a UK side by accident. I didn't. That's not the pair that I wanted, and um, ended up with a Shoe Palace nine and a half too. So nice. we'll Two see. Pair. Yeah, so just make gonna a little, get rid make of a them. Money. Yeah, not much though. I, th- I think at most we make like thirty, forty off of them. I guess overall made like one twenty. Yeah, but you know, you 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 could also try like listing them. Outside of StockX, true. yeah, because because I, I I feel like too like locally just with with these types of shoes like yeah. especially with the the breads like you can definitely find someone yeah. who don't want to buy it just depends on how quickly you want to yeah. you want to turn it over. I, I saw places like Round Two are selling them for like three twenty five, and it's like if they're getting rid of them, are people buying them for two three twenty five over there? You know, so it's like if they are, like why can't I sell them for three twenty five? You know, but yeah. I definitely think you could. It just it, it, it might take a little bit of patience, and then for sure you got to take the risk of because you know as soon as people start getting their pairs, like everyone's going to be undercutting. So, exactly. Yeah. So I, I actually was able to grab pairs as well. So I hit on sneakers for eight and a half. Yeah. That was love. Did you see the picture that was like everyone got them? <laughs> did, did you <laughs> nah, see, I that? Didn't see that? Uh, I, I didn't see that. See you. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! But it, it, it was kind of crazy. Just like for me, we had this conversation, and we were like, um, I don't want to get into it right now about it, but I was like. We talked about how available this shoe is, mm-hmm. and I was like, "That's not how every shoe should be." And you talked about what well, is, you know, this with marketing, whatever. But like this shoe, like the fact that I think I heard a million pairs. I also, heard, I also heard two million pairs, but it's like it's still sold out everywhere. You yeah. know what I mean? And it's like, granted, that shoe has a lot of history, so it's easy for that shoe to sell out that much. But it's like, and I have no issue with two million because I'm gonna. I bought these to wear. I have no issue with two million other people yeah, rocking them at the these. Same you know time, what I mean? Yeah. So it's the same thing with like. I kind of regret selling my fours. I think I'm going to buy another pair. But, like, same thing for those. I think they still had, like, a million pairs. And it's, like, I'm I'm okay with a million people having them. It's just a classic shoe. And it's, like, to me, like, classic is classic. Timeless is timeless. I don't care if, like, everybody got them, you know? Yeah, so, agreed. Um, but, yeah, man, you said you got two pairs. Yep, yep. So, yeah. um, I, I actually, I should have had three if, if I was a little bit smarter about right. it. Um, so, I copped the first one from sneakers, and then as soon as I put in my sneakers order, like, I didn't even wait. I went to the foot sites and started trying to hit right. those. So those I were end- impossible for me, man. Yeah, they were they, they were crashing all over the place. Um, I ended up scooping from East Bay. Um, yeah. So, I got a size 12, and then I was able to get back in, get another order in for an 11 and a half. Yeah. But I didn't change like any information. I didn't change the name or the address or the gotcha. email. So um, I only got order confirmation and shipping confirmation about that first size twelve. So gotcha. I don't think I can get that eleven and a half. Gotcha. Yeah. But yeah, East Bay Mary. Remember we used to get the little packages. Yeah, uh, not the package, the, the catalog, magazines. Yeah, 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 man. That's how people used to shop. Dude. <laughs> Back in the day, yeah. high school, all your homies at the lunch table. Yeah, man. Up the shoes. And then like four, four, four releases too. You'd like call in a little bit before yeah. the release, and then you'd be on hold. Yeah. Or on the phone with them while the release is going, so you could order it right then on the phone. It's like, funny on the website. I think for most of the, because I think all these are owned by the same company. And I think East mm-hmm. Bay Champs Foot Locker. Yeah. Maybe Dicks, I don't know. But nah, like, nah, Dicks Dick, isn't. Dicks is its own it's like thing. Like East, East Bay Chance, Foot Locker, Foot Action, Finish um, Line or no? Nah, not Finish Line. Yeah. Finish Line's different. So essentially, all, all, all the ones that are combined right. under the same login now yeah. are, are all. I don't know if they're the same company, but the same ownership. But at it least. was like no, fo- no, no uh, phone orders. Yeah, because <laughs> before you used to be able to. <laughs> yeah, like, that was the heck. Yeah, that was the heck. You, you call right before, and it's like, <laughs> yeah. But anyways. Yep. Yep. Um, so a couple a couple other releases um, that happened over the over the past week uh, we had the Yeez reels uh, drop the reflectives and the non reflectives um, yeah just just look like zebras to yeah. me but I, mean, I realize it's not really a zebra pattern but you know yeah it's just it's, it's just another three fifty and and yeah. like that glow Yeezys is turning into a Grand Theft Auto character where you can just <laughs> just, just customize <laughs> put, put whatever you want on you there you know what I mean a little video, color picker just a video game you yeah know? man. I don't but, know, no, nothing, nothing really hype about them. The the next one I'll, I'll let you sort of talk about because I, I know that these were ones you were yeah. excited about. Uh, well, the Stray Rats New Balances, yeah, um, kind of annoying. Like uh, uh, Julian, like that's my that's my dude. You know, he runs Stray Rats, but it's just like gotta do better with these drops, man. Because it's just like 
the, the thing is, like, this was still like a re-release of the two other shoes that dropped already, but these were slightly different in the sense that, like, the insole, because these shoes were always inspired by the Joker, but these, I think, are officially, because um, there's like a DC, DC, um, DC Comics logo in the shoe. There's like an official Joker cartoon uh, drawing in the shoe, so it's like, I think, like, they finally got the, like, the approval, you know, to Word, okay. put it out as like a Joker shoe, you know? Um, oh, so, so, so you're saying there's an actual like DC like branded yeah, logo? Yeah, DC logo. Yeah, oh, they brought like, they brought out some t-shirts. So I think it has a DC logo uh, on it. So it's like DC logo, New Balance, and Stray Rats, which is good. Like I'm happy that he got that, you know. Yeah. And like I even hit him up before the shoe dropped, and I was like, "Yo, like, can I get like a little?" Because he hooked me up with the gray ones before, and I was like, "Yo, like, can I, you know, get a little hook up for these ones?" He's like, "Nah, I can't do it." But like. Um, these should be easier to get. And I think there were more pairs made. Yeah. I think I saw Sajik said that there were yeah. more pairs made. And some people did hit manual, but like they tried to do this, this whole thing with like, um, with uh, they did like a fake bot link for bots to to buy, mm. but it didn't do anything. You know, like I went on what like it was supposed to drop at twelve. I was I had a therapy appointment and I told Nick to um try to get them for me. I get my my appointment at like twelve fifteen, twelve sixteen. And Nick's like, they didn't even load on the website. I'm like, yeah, like I saw because I was like checking on my phone too. And um, as he's texting me, I see that they dropped like a special link where you have to put in a password and go in. And I, by the time I went into the password, it was all sold out, you mm-hmm. know? And it's like, so for me, it's like I, I have no issue with like reselling, okay? My issue is when I don't have a chance to even like get to the shoe, you know? And it's like, it, it'd be one thing like, Cause like if I line up for a shoe and I show up at like nine thirty, oh store opens at ten, mm-hmm. and there's already thirty people in line, you know I fucked up, you know. But that's the L that I'll, I'm willing to take, you know. Yeah. But if I show up at like five a.m. and I'm thinking I'm the first in line, and then I find out there was like an underground and there were like thirty people in the store before me, it's like it's not fair, you know. Yeah. And that's, and that's my whole thing with the bots, and it's like for me, and it's like. It's like I'm Sarah Connor out here, bro. <laughs> and it's like <laughs> fighting the Terminator. And it's like, that's that's not happening, you know? Like, even yeah. in the second movie, Sarah Connor needed a Terminator to fight the other Terminator. <laughs> even in the second movie. <laughs> you know? Like, she had to get a, a, a another robot to fight the other robot. And it's like, it's, to me, it's unfair. And it's like, I don't feel that. And I guess the simple solution is, well, won't you get a bot? But, like, I think bots make more sense for people who resell on a constant, like somebody yeah, who reads, yeah. like that's their job. Yeah, it's you know? gotta be your hustle. You can't, you exactly. can't go in half ass on a bot. Like for me, like I would only get a bot for like to get what I want to wear. Most, I mean, I, everybody resells. We all resell, mm-hmm. but I just wanna, I just want the same opportunity to get something as these other people are getting. You know, and it's like to jump into like the the next thing with like the Supreme drop, the box logo. It's like it's the same thing. You know, like I, I some people hit manual, and with with the Stray Rats new bounces, some people hit manual too, but like the amount of people who hit manual compared to the people who hit with bots is like non comparable. Yeah. You know? Definitely. Like, um, cause I saw like on, on I, I don't know what Shuplex is, but I guess on Sock Jig, like for the new balances, it was like a Shuplex, but it was like a bunch of like, a bunch of uh, success stories. And same yeah. thing with the, on on Saturday, I kept, or, or Friday, I kept trying to get the, uh, the box logo on the restock. And I just couldn't. And I saw people kept hitting with the Shuplex. And it's like, I can't compete with that because on the restocks, I think they're only putting like one or two up at the same time. Uh, yeah, yeah. And it's and like the bots are just they're just yeah, checking and, and refreshing and it's, seeing it's if, impossible, there's, if there's man. And it's like again, yo, I have no issue with you reselling because like I get it, yo. Like why wouldn't you try to resell something that's like nah, honey? But something needs to be done about these bots, man. Like I'm just not a fan at all. And then it's like I'm just not a fan. I just got to resign myself to like I'm just not gonna get these shoes and shit that I want because it's like. You know, I just I just can't do it, and it's it's really aggravating, dog. Yeah. And it's like, like I I have no issue missing on something if I had like a fair chance at it. You know, like there was no chance of me getting either of these items. On, but I can't, I can't say no chance. The chances of me getting either of those items over the weekend was like extremely like mad slim. You know, yeah. and I'm I'm here next week. We'll talk about it later. But like Supreme's dropping one box logo tees and like a picture tee, and it's like. I'm not even, like, of course I want to try, but it's like, what's the point? I'm going to be at work, and it's like, I got to watch kids, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I feel like, though, isn't that, like, it's it's part of the game, right? Like, it's part of the... But it wasn't always part of the game, and that's, that's my issue with it. You know? Like, there was a yeah. point where it was, like, where people were just, like... Like, to, you're right, like, it is part of the game, but my thing is, like, it's like this, like, video games, right? Mm-hmm. 
There's people who try to cheat on video games all the time, and when they get found out, they get banned. You know what I mean? And it's like my thing is like I don't know why we let this happen. As far as like us as a as, as this community, you in terms like, of like letting letting people use bots. Yeah, you know, because it's it's not because I guess people money ruins everything in those video games. It's not about money, but it's for people like oh well, I'm gonna get a bot and make this money too. But like like for me, like I, I refuse to get a bot. Like I've had people try to ask, try to tell me, you know, like let's try to get a bot together. But I, I kind of I don't want to be part of that. You know, like that's just like you can call me stupid, but it's just, I don't want to be part of that. You know what I mean? I, I just feel like there's there's no um, like there's no there's no way to prevent when it comes to technology like this. Like as as changes are made to do stuff to make it more difficult, yeah. the bots are adapting. The people that are coding them, like they're they're also making changes to try to you know get past and bypass and do different things to to avoid yeah. the detection or avoid them being blocked. But like I think it's 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 almost gonna have to be like. A drastic change to just the way releases work. Yeah, and and that's kind of just what like I'm raffle. Like, but 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 so like I guess the the alternative like would would a raffle system? So I don't think a raffle system is the answer either because I, I I think I think a raffle system is more fair, but I still don't think that's the answer. Like for me, it's like like there has to be a way. I don't know. I, I don't have the answer. Bro. But my, <laughs> it, my my thing is like we need to do away with, do away with these bots. You know, like whatever. Like if we can, like something, bro. Like. You know, I I don't know, man. It's just it's because for me, it's just it's just unfair. It's just it's just completely unfair, you know. And that's that's just my whole thing with yeah. it. And it's like, you know, I get it. You try to make your money, but like, I'm trying to wear this shit, dog. <laughs> like you. like I like this thing. Like I like this shoe. I, I like this this hoodie. I like you know what I mean. Yeah. But yeah, I, I could go on and on, man. It, it's I don't think it's something that'll ever get fixed. I think it's only gonna get worse. Like I think there's a point where it's like it's gonna be like impossible to get them even if you but like here's my thing what's gonna happen when everybody has a bot but the thing is is like bots are bots are failing like there are a lot of people that are not having success like i think they're failing on certain things but like they're not failing on like supreme Nah, bots bots are absolutely failing on supreme i'm not saying i'm not saying not from what i saw on thursday i'm not saying the bots aren't getting through but what i'm saying is there are there's still a lot of bot users yeah that are also missing like there are a lot of bot users that are that are missing because their setups aren't correct, or because you know whatever wh- wh- whatever reason yeah. that like there's there's more experienced people that are well, hitting yeah, multiple but, but pairs I, I guess and more experienced groups of people that yeah, are hitting pairs. But I guess that's my issue. It's like I guess that's my point. Is like it doesn't matter. My my point is it's like the bots aren't failing. They're not failing because they're bots. They're failing because there's better bots out there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know. And for me, like that's still like that doesn't solve anything. But that's my, that's that's my whole thing. It's like so so at a certain point, we're all just gonna have to be like Skynet. <laughs> like this call gets kind of on the phone hey yo like I need a bot and then we just, we I just mean, go prob- probably yeah I mean yeah. technology like so you're gonna have to spend two thousand dollars just to get that one hoodie not you necessarily want. I mean as as stuff gets more and more uh, commonly used prices of stuff comes yeah. down a bot might be significantly less expensive and it's commonplace to just use that as the method of purchase like yeah I mean, which is, I, which is whack. I still think manual is going to be viable though. For I, I hope, bro. Because like, I mean, I just... but, but, but so like, so think about it this way: like the, the number of people that are going for those box logos, right? Right. Even even excluding the bot users would make it almost an impossible cop manual, even if everyone was manual. See, I, I disagree, man. Because it's like I, I've 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 bought box logos before bots were like the thing, and. Sure, like if you show up at eleven oh five, yeah, you're not getting. Yeah, but them. that was that was before bots were a thing. But Supreme also wasn't the same level of hype as it is right now. Sure, but Supreme was always hype though. Like to say that Supreme was not a crazy hype back in the day is 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 kind of like ridiculous. Like to me, it was like it's to me. I don't I don't think it's that much. Like sure, there was more, but stock is also there's also more stock now than there was back then. That's a fact. Yeah, you know, like stock has gone up way more than it was back then too. You know, so yeah. I think like it's it's not growing at the same as far as like like if there were no bots, we'd all me, you, Nick, we'd all have box logos. That's a fact. I, I don't know about that's, that. That's man. a fact, bro. Like I'm telling you, somebody's been buying Supreme since 2008. Yes, that like right. there's more volume, there's more there's more colors, there's more stock, there's more all of that. Like trust me. Like trust me, you know, because right. you have bots. Oh, and the, the other things like I can't, I, I can't really argue because you know I don't, I don't right. have the experience. Right now, obviously, I, I can't guarantee anything. It's all hypotheticals. But like I'm telling you, from like I, I've, I'm, I'm from a time where those things were attainable. Sure, people definitely didn't, didn't hit. But like I, like I said, like if you showed up at like eleven oh five, eleven ten, yeah, you might not, you know. But if if you showed up on time, 
but like at eleven o'clock, yeah, the chances of you not getting them is is slim to none, you know. So maybe not slim to none, but it's 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 not. You have a way better chance of getting them. Than, right. You know what I mean. Let's, 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 let's actually throw that out there. So like, how do you how, how do you guys feel about it? Is it is, is that something that that um that you, you you agree with Reggie's take on this that uh if there were no bots in play that hyped items from major brands like Supreme, for example. Um, would be able to be acquired by every everyday people like us, manual. Like some people would would lose out, yeah. sure, but like, but it it wouldn't be a constant, like, like for me, like I'm thinking about like the last. I, I I get everything I want from Supreme usually, right? As far as like, like I get usually like the book sold out in like a minute or two, but I got what I wanted. Um, like most things I want, like I get, but the hyped items I don't like. The Buja Bantan tea, I try to get. Nothing. This box logo, nothing. Box logo from last year, nothing. The the, the North Face, like it wouldn't even let me check out because it's like so much activity yeah. on the website, you know. And it's like, but a box can just stroll through, and it's like, yeah. you know. And and that's what I mean by like unfair. Like, I only have the opportunity to like go to my cart and like check out. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I mean, I, I don't know. I I don't, I don't want to keep keep rehashing right. it. Um, I see like that unfairness is like part of it, and just like I'm I'm okay with see, it. I'm I'm not, bro. Cause yeah. like even on the stray rats, going back to stray rats, it's like one per customer, and then I got people with five orders in their bank account. <laughs> you know, hey, man. If you can if you can game the no, system, no man, fuck that, bro. Like <laughs> I, I don't agree with that at all, man. Like I don't agree with that one bit. Like I, I see where you're coming from, but like I don't agree with that. One bit, yo. I don't. I'm sorry. Right. You know, we'll have to agree to disagree. Yeah, but for man. me, it's like, nah, that's not how <laughs> shit should be, bro. Like, I'm. I, I want a system. I don't think we should be out here just cut throwing it out here over some clothes. And I mean, like, cut, cut throwing, but I, think I that's, mean, that, that's, that's a not big word. Throwing. No, no, but but it's like, but you're fucking other people over just so you can make, you know, you know, it's like, you know, like you don't care about this shit. You know what I mean? Like that that's my whole thing. You have a bunch of people buying these new balances that don't care. Like Stray Rats is a brand Stray Rats is not even a big brand. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it really is. And you have people I like me who I, I've been down since like two thousand since they it's like like the first shirt from them that I bought, I, it wasn't even a website available. I sent the message to Julian and said, Yo, I wanna buy a t shirt and he was like, Cool, was was here's my PayPal, I'll send you a t shirt. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then, but they're still not on a huge level, you know. But these shoes, and like I, I went to StockX to look at these shoes. Nobody's buying them resale. So you did all this for nothing. <laughs> like you set up a price of five hundred, six hundred dollars. I mean, they, and nobody's it buying just, it. They just released them, man. Bro, you ever seen a shoe release and not sell on the first day on StockX? Nah, I exactly. Man. That's my point. You know, that's my whole thing. You know, like you're doing all this to to do nothing. Like they're gonna they're gonna sell, but I bet you all those resellers are gonna drop their prices like three three hundred dollars, which is still crazy. But what, like, what, 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 what's it reselling at right now? It's not reselling anything because no, nobody's I mean, buying it. Me like, what, what, I, like, I checked on uh, on what, StockX what are and at? it was like I want to say it was. Um, Five forty five is what I had Five forty five? Yeah. Ounces? Yeah, dude. Damn. That's my whole thing. Because it's like, oh, it's rare, it's this, but it's like, yeah, but it's about like the people that want it. You True. know, like the straight rat that's my whole thing when I bring up about straight rats not being big. Like, look, last sell nothing. They came out two days hit, ago. Hit, hit all sizes real quick know? and just so That's why I put size. Hey, no, look. no, I'm just saying hit 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 all and then check last sale. I'm just curious Hold what they're up. selling at. That sold 460. Only they, four sales. Four sales. Wow. That's my whole thing, yeah, bro. Yeah, four sales of a shoe that just released. Right, and it's only and like the bots a way more than manual. Yeah, you know that's my whole thing. But with I mean, that. but but, but like, then, obviously, like this is not same, everything. But but, but that's 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 good though. I would say because then the market speaking, people aren't actually interested in buying the people that purchase for but resale. But they drop these shoes like three times, and it's the same case every yeah, single but it's the time. Same. It's, it's, is it a different colorway? No, it's the same thing. Oh, like so these, 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 this, this is the these third are restocks. Time. Yeah, these uh, are restocks. Yeah, but okay. the, for this restock, like I said, like it was like the official. They put the official. DC Comics logo on it. Oh, and, uh, but, yeah. so the shoe actually looks different though. You're saying no, no, no. Like the, it's just the insole that looks different. Uh, you know, okay. it's it's a new like they reprinted the shoe or whatever. I don't know the correct term, but like so. Gotcha. Yeah, I could go on and on and on about about this, but like like I said though, I mean 
I know robots are not going anywhere. Like, it's only going to get worse. Like, there's going to be a time where, like, I, I won't be able to cop anything. And it's just, like, that's the point where I'm just going to be like, all right, yo. Like, <laughs> that's, you when, know, that's when you give up? Exactly, you know? So <laughs> I, don't think that's, I don't think that's going to happen, man. But Not not for every, but I'm saying, like, for, like, hype stuff. Because, like, there's hype stuff. There's people who buy hype stuff just because it's hyped. And then I just happen to be liking shit. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like Buju Bantan. I've been listening to Buju Bantan since I was a kid in Haiti. You yeah. know what I mean? I don't know who that dude is. You know? I, mean, I, I, I remember <laughs> right. seeing him on the T, but right. I don't, and, I don't and know it's who like, is. but but I can't get a T-shirt because you know Josh from Virginia Tech wants to you know <laughs> make some money. Like get out of here, bro. And it's like, and, and like the resale wasn't even that crazy for that. Like I ended up buying a T-shirt for a hundred bucks, which is still a hundred dollars, but like that's only forty dollars over over what I would have paid like shipping. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. So, like, y'all doing all this. I mean, sure, for the box logo, it's worth it. $900, get your bread, fam. But, like, y'all be doing this shit for, like, shit that's not even worth it, dog. Yeah. You know? But I don't, I don't want to get hung up on this topic. We got shit to talk about. <laughs> but, like, I think I talked about, like, 10 minutes now. But that's how aggravated I've been over the like, last. Like, these are, like, it'd be one thing if I was just trying to, like, resell these things. These are things yeah. that I, I've been looking forward to. You know, like, I wasn't the biggest fan of this box logo. There's, a, there's way better box logos to me. But, like, you know, as a supreme head, I want to go for the box logos that I can. You know what I mean? So... And the new balances, like I've been messing with stray rats since, since the beginning. I have the gray pair. I wanted to get this this black pair, you know. But probably gonna have to go resell if I can get it for like three something. Or just four. leave, just leave it. Huh? I said, or just leave it. I mean, I could, man. Yeah. You're, you're right. I could, man. But I don't. <laughs> I don't know if I will. But I. It's very, very true, you know. But um, yeah. Anyways, I, I feel you. I think I'm done. I'm All gonna right. call uh Sarah Connor and her son. <laughs> <laughs> get uh the terminator on the <laughs> on the phone call all right so two two other releases that happened past week just quick we're not gonna talk too much about them but the the viatech dunks released and then the waffle racer um off-white release as well um so nothing nothing really yeah around nah. those. i was crazy to see that people bought those viotechs um, really i don't yeah i, I think I think they saw because the resale's not crazy on them. Nah, resale's not crazy. But I think crazy. they saw that the dunks went for crazy. Um, you think people bought them because of resale, not just because it's a shoe that? Maybe, but I don't know. They're just not that hot to me though. That's why they're yeah. not a shoe that to me that attracts like. I, I, I think I could the, be wrong, but the, yeah. the, the, I mean the, the way I, the way I see them is like it's it's something that's known, right? The True. Viatech, yeah. And then it's also not released that frequently, True. so you you have a few years in between every time, and yeah. and with that, it just. Uh, but there was like a line of people outside of my manier, and I was like, "Damn, like for real, yeah. you know?" But again, yeah, but they'll, they'll 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 forget about them though. The way the sneaker releases work now, like st- it's stuff like goes amnesia, away, and just bro. like yeah, it's just like <laughs> it's just on to the next amnesia, one, man. Amnesia, bro. Yeah. Like yeah. All right. So um, moving into what's coming out for the next upcoming week. So for the month of December, a lot of it is just Yeezy. We just got Yeezy, 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 Yeezy coming up. Um, we've already talked about the releases that happened, but yeah. um, we got some more coming. So tomorrow um, on the 16th, we've got the 500s, um, the highs, first uh, release of this um, new new silhouette. Um, yeah. We've talked about these previously before, but... Um, I've I've missed out on all the raffles that I went for so far, so I think you, I'm gonna gonna, try, you could try to get them to get them. Nah, I think I'm just gonna let them pass. I was sure. I was, I was kind of hoping to just get them from like a local store in hand. Yeah, but since I missed on the raffles, I don't even think I'm gonna try on Easy Supply or anything. You. Yeah. Why the fuck you lying? Why, Why you always lying? Why? Oh my god, stop fucking lying. Yeah, they're cool. I remember we talked about them already. Yeah, but... we, we talked about them. Yeah. Um. So we also got the 700 Carbon Blues coming out on the 18th. It's another one, just another easy that I'm I'm just gonna let go. Like I I I think just as as someone who likes Yeezys and wears them, I'm just getting I'm getting tired. I hear you. I'm getting fatigued. They're expensive, man. Like they're not they're not looking different enough for me to want to keep keep copping these things yeah. over and over. Seems like they just going through a factory and just took to the the printer color. What? The, they changed the, the ink. Oh and yeah. Like, okay. Yeah, man. Seriously. <laughs> Put <this joint> out. <laughs> seriously. Yeah. So, um, letting those go. Um, yeah. and then saw the animal instinct. Yep. Um, I think those are ugly. Yeah. Well, I, I can't. I, I'm not into them. I've never. If you guys have been listening, you know, I'm not really into <laughs> shoes that are like too busy. Yeah. You know, you like them nice um, and clean. Yeah, like it's it's just too busy. You know, I'm not. I don't know if I should say they're ugly or not, but I'm I'm good. Yeah. yeah. What about I, you? you? I, I, I'll, I don't think I'll wear them personally. Um, they're looking kind of limited so far, so I'm gonna probably try to cop to resell Maybe if I resell. can. Um, but 
I don't know. I like other I like other animal pack shoes that have released before, like 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 a lot of the Atmos stuff. Yeah, I, I think like the Air Max ones. Air Max I, I, ones I think they do. Dope. They go well with certain shoes like that. I think the Air Max ones. Yeah. I don't know if I would rock them, but I don't think those are ugly. Yeah. You know what I mean? But like on a three. Yeah, I mean the three is so bulky and yeah, just that's my chunky. thing. It's a bulky shoe. Like yeah. I mean, I love the three, but like not on a design like that. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's, it's a little bit too chunky, right? Um. Off white dunks. Yep, yep. Big boys. The draft. It's, it's, I mean, the draft. Uh, it's definitely the biggest release of December that's for remaining. Sure. Hopefully, I can yeah. hit. Uh, I'm gonna definitely try to resell for those ones. Yep, yep. I'm just not into them. Uh, it's just. I mean, you know my thing with off white, yeah. and you know we talked about the kidnap, the kidnap <laughs> look. Um, but I think I think these are gonna go for a lot. Yeah. Um, but we'll see. I'm, I'm not gonna try too hard to get them, you know. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I can even try, try, for all, try, to, try for all three colors, but we'll see. Yeah. What do you think is gonna be the most uh, expensive color? Probably the red. Yeah, red's yeah. always big. Yeah. Probably red, I think. Yeah. But yeah, no, I mean, I'm I'm also going for those. I entered a bunch of raffles already. True. Um. So hopefully, hopefully, I hit on one of them. But again, like with 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 how many sneakers are coming out, like as, as much as I would love these, um, and like I would love to have them, right? As much as sneakers are coming out, like I'm just I'm I'm letting stuff pass nowadays, like. It's, it's kind of what I deal. realized, man, because like I'm, my my collection is getting bigger, and it's like I don't I I wouldn't mind a big collection if I was like super rich, but it's like I don't have that much room for like that much shoes, and it's like I work five days a week, like it's not like I could wear like <laughs> a nice pair, like I work at a preschool, so it's not like I could wear like my nice shoes, yeah, to, like too, because like we go outside with mulch, and it's like no, bro. So yeah. if, if I could change my shoes like every day, wear something, then it'd be like oh, you know, but like I know how people do it with like a bunch. I mean, maybe one day, but like. Dude, just be having like hundreds and hundreds, and it's like, yeah, yeah you know, <laughs> like, but like you said, so much stuff coming out, it's like just passing, you know. Yeah. You got the easy three fifty. Oh, you are gonna have to help me how to say how to say <laughs> this. The, uh, um, the Yeezy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeezy be, be on his. Uh, yeah, these what names, is, bro. man. Like, like the Yeezy Real, Yeezy Shield, yeah, got Yeezy coming out and something. I don't know. I don't understand. Yeah, I, I thought those looked cool. I mean, I obviously wouldn't buy them, but. Um, the color's cool, I think. So you actually like the multicolor stuff? Yeah, on them? yeah, no, I think because it's I, I like the because it's kind of more of on a darker um, design and yeah. you got colors on top of it, you know. True. So, but um, yeah, I, I think it looks different than what he's done before. It's not like the the joints we talked about earlier that look just like zebras to me. That uh, you know what I mean? So they're cool. Yeah, the, and those are releasing in a reflective and a non-reflective, just like the Yeez reels did. Nice. Um, so reflective obviously is for resale purposes. Um, yeah. yeah, it's cool. We also got um, uh, SB Dunk coming. Yeah, the Oski Shark. Yeah, finally, uh, finally dropping. Yeah, they came out in Europe yesterday. Um, they're not on sneakers yet, right? No, no, no. I, they're not gonna drop on sneakers. Uh, they're the they're the skate um, shop only. Yeah, the orange orange label. So they're gonna be skate shop only. So uh, okay. It's gonna be a little bit harder to get. I don't know if uh, Bureau. Hopefully, Bureau gets them. Um, but um, definitely try and get those. Uh, I don't think resale is gonna be too crazy on them. Yeah. Um, but it's kind of one of those cases. Just what we talked about about like there's just so much stuff coming out. It's like, do I even want to get them? Yeah. Like I want to get them just because like I like that skater. I, I want to support, but at the same time, it's like you know, we got a lot of shoes. Got enough black shoes already. <laughs> you know, but like. I don't know. I'll probably end up copying them. Maybe not immediately when they come out. Like, if it's resale, I won't cop immediately right when they come out. But if I can get my hands on them, because uh, I think resale for dunks is like 110, yeah, 100. something like that. You know, which is not too bad. So, yeah. we'll I, see. That's that's the one thing. I was actually looking back. Like, didn't didn't retail for, like, some of the ones we used to mess with be, like, 60 bucks, 70 bucks? Like, probably, 90, man. 90, maybe like, max maybe for nine, Maybe tops. 90. I don't remember, like, 60 or 70, but, like, but maybe. I don't know, man. That was so long ago, yeah, man. That I, was, like. I feel like the low-top SB Dunks, like, some of them were, like, 65, the, yeah. 70 bucks, man. Like, the low-tops were probably, like, 75, come to think of like, it. That's wild, man. Yeah, man. Imagine copping a shoe for $75 yeah. right now. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> you know, don't even buy it. Bad an eye bad, <laughs> of buying a $220 shoe. But Yeah, man. That's just how it is. Yeah, and then um, a couple more uh, Yeezys for the end, of, towards the end of the month. Um, you got the zebras restocking. We've already talked about these, but um, officially got a date now of the twenty first. I never see what the zebras look like. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, officially got a date now of the twenty first for those, and then the seven hundred V three finally coming out on the twenty third of December. So true. Yep. Yep. And um, 
So yeah, we briefly talked about it earlier, but the Spring Box logo tee is coming out next yeah. week. It's supposed to be coming out with a photo tee also. Did, so so like those the, the those are like mainly leaks right now, right? Yeah, but, but the, like, the, the, the source is coming official. from is pretty. Yeah. It's pretty. We'll probably hear something about tomorrow morning. Um, but the source is coming from is usually pretty on it. Um, yes, yeah, the photo tee is supposed to be like I think I heard either Jadakiss or the Locks. And if that's the case, like, I definitely want that. Yeah, that like, I, I, I actually wouldn't mind having yeah, that T, too. But that's going to be, like... Real difficult. <laughs> yeah. But the only thing is, if they're dropping the box logos, too, it's gonna, it might be easier. I know there's still the bot thing in there, but, like, it might be easier if there's two hyped items True. than one. Definitely. Because, like, like the, the first weeks of the drops are usually the easiest weeks because even though there might be, like, some hot tees and things like that, because there's just so much dropping, you can kind of go around and, like... Buy with. Like, I was able to, even though the Mary J. Blige tee was probably not that hype, but, like, I still be able to, be able to get, I was still able to get that one, like, because I wanted the Mary J. Blige tee, you know, compared to, like, because other people were buying other stuff, you know? Yeah. So, if there's, like, a box logo in the photo tee, then people might be more focused. As far as, like, it, it probably uh, balances it out, at least for the manual users, you know? Yeah, so, true, true. So, I could, um bet- between the manual, manual users, I should say, so... Hopefully, I could get one. If I if I had the big one, I'm probably gonna go for the Lox T. If it's a Lox T, um, over the box logo, I already got a box logo T. I mean, I already got picture tees too, but like, um, you already got all Supreme. <laughs> that's the thing. I, it's like, I, I I I can't be too mad. Like, I already have like two box logo T. Yeah. Uh, one box logo T. Two box logo hoodies. Used to have three. So one of them. So it's like, it's not like I, I haven't got them, but you know, just. Nigga, I want more though. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm definitely gonna be trying for the box logo yeah. as well if, if I can. I think getting getting set and up for this past release made it so like I see that like it's not that much of a lift for me now. Yeah, because like the autofill is all set up and everything yeah, like we were talking yeah. about before. So it's just like about me just getting there and trying. Just try Chrome. I heard Chrome might be easier, um, a on, better on phone. On phone, maybe on computer too, but on really? the phone too. Yeah. Okay. Um. So I'll try. I'm gonna try doing Chrome last okay. time because Nick. Nick's girlfriend's cousin, him and his Nick's girl. Nick's girlfriend's cousin. <laughs> Me and you, your mother and your cousin, too. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, Rolling he down said his trip, that, huh? <laughs> He said that he cop manual, him and his girl, and they, hmm. had, they, had, uh, they were using Chrome. You know, So I've heard people use Chrome before, um, and I heard that Chrome, at least on the computer, if you're logged in on Gmail, doesn't make you use uh, CAPTCHA or whatever. So, okay. Yeah. Chrome logged in on the computer. Yeah, I don't know what the science behind it is, but you know, people have it's done like it's, it. It's already validated your session or something, right. probably. So yeah, true, true. But yeah, true. so uh, we got sneaky news and rumors. Um, choo, choo, choo. Saw the ray guns. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Saw a little bit of those uh, white and black. I think one of them is a family. I don't know if they're both. I could be making this up. I think one of them is a friends and family. Okay. Uh, couldn't tell you which one, but I could be making that up. Yeah, so like, why? I I don't understand why they would do that when because like the, they, the they, they were released in the yeah, pack. So maybe yeah. not though. Maybe, maybe there is a different one that is uh, friends and family. Yeah, that I gotcha. saw. Maybe there's a third pair that I saw. Um, I think it's cool with the tie dye. It's kind of like, I mean, for me, like yeah, it's be like for people like me. I never loved the ray guns, but it's still cool. Like mm-hmm. see them kind of go back to it. Um, so remember that pebbled leather was so it looks so so like just soft yeah and th- those old ones but like, but like the thing is like they're, they're trying it's like fan service it's like when they come out with like the tiffany highs and mm-hmm. the, the, the de la so lows and you know I, like I, I hated when they they switched the de la pack and made lows for the highs yeah, and highs. And i was and just I, like you killed and, and that's killed what i feel like that's what them. granted those look good but yeah, this they is what they're good, doing they're but, just they're just trying to like they're just trying to call back to the, some of the old fans i yeah. think and um which is because they did the same thing. They did the Cali highs. I don't know if you remember those. Yeah. And it's like I'm, I don't completely hate them, but like, but like as an OG, I mean, we're not OG OGs, but you get what I'm saying. Yeah. Like it's like, um, it's like yo, like why y'all doing yeah. that? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it feels I mean? a little bit disrespectful, right? You know? Even though these 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 ray guns, I'll say like they're they're executed well. Like they're, right. I think that the, the tie dye is enough of a twist while still looking. Like the original, for sure, for sure, like for it, sure. It, it pays good, good homage. To I wish them. SBs kind of did retros, man. Mm-hmm. Like just I like wish... a, a regular re-release yeah, of the same yeah, shoe. Yeah, because like they did like the Takashi's last year, but it, it wasn't really like the swoosh was different. Yeah. Like I, I need like a a real retro. You know what I mean? But like, because every, sh- I mean, I, I don't know about every shoe, but m- more shoes do retros than just Jordans. Like Air Maxes come out with the original Air True. Max. Like they a lot, a lot of shoes do 
uh retro so i don't know why nike doesn't nike sb doesn't but maybe one day what would be what would be the number one shoe you'd want to see i know it's just like on, on off the top but like honestly num- like, number one sb you'd want to see come like back takashi as the first ones okay lately i've been really feeling like for like peewees bro Word. Like peewees yeah peewees dope. and that would never happen but mf dooms like i i regret selling that pair and it's crazy because that shoe's like 10 years old now so if, if i get a ds pair yeah you it's probably not worth it, it yo yeah. like but that's that's what I would that that will be on my list, you know. What about yeah. you? You have you have any of them? I'm, I was always obsessed with the Metacom. Um, oh yeah, you like the three M? Yeah, yeah, dude. That that, that all over three M pair. I think I would I would be an instant instant yeah. cop if they if they re release those. Yeah. But even like the blue, those are like rares. I bet you like a DS pair is like a thousand, dude, like over a thousand. I like saw thousands. I, saw, I I remember in like 2013 or 2012. I saw a. A DS pair. It might have been later than that, but I, I remember I was looking for a DS pair in like size 13 in my size, and it was like five hundred, six hundred dollars. And right. I, I like obviously didn't buy it, but like if right. if I would have bought it, it probably is worth so much more oh, right yeah, now. No, yeah, yeah, right, yeah, man. So yeah, it's unfortunate. Um, yeah, it, it kind of sucks, man. But you know, kind of like hindsight's 2020 20 type yeah, situations. Absolutely, you know, absolutely. Uh, saw the Safari SB Dunk lows too on mm-hmm. uh, some of the Instagram pages. Yeah. Again, my whole thing about too busy of a shoe, um, but I don't know. I don't know if people will like them or not. Yeah, I, I, I think people will because it's like it's got that same safari design that you've seen across a bunch of different shoes. Now you know you got yeah. your Air Maxes, you've seen on the Lebrons too. Right. So like, um, I definitely think that it, um, it'll be a pair that people will go after. It's also supposed to be a GR, so yeah, um, that's nice to people will be able to get their hands on. I, I it actually, on first glance, it was like. This is a shoe that I wouldn't mind copying and yeah. having in my collection, especially since it's a dunk. I know it's not going to be super right. expensive, so I like that SB Nike SB does a lot of these GRs because it's like, um, um, like I bought the Jade Horizons like a week or two ago, mm-hmm. and it's like they sold out everywhere they like went on. But I thought the shoe was dope, and it's like you know, thank you for at least putting it out on a lot of a lot of places, you know. Yeah. So just hopefully they keep that going with like with like good shoes, you know. Um, um, we were also talking about the Adidas 4D Ultra Boost. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not huge on Adidas, yeah. um, but we talked about. I mean, I've seen those before. I've seen people like them, but talk about why that's kind of a big yeah, deal. Yeah, yeah. So I, I think it's interesting. It's a good matchup of two shoes. So like, obviously, um, the Ultra Boost hype was a real thing. Like everyone experienced that. They sort of took over as the shoe that people were wearing in years past. But um, that 4D technology is interesting. Essentially, it's a 3D printed, for, for anyone that hasn't seen it, it's a 3D printed uh, midsole and outsole. Um, so essentially just like expanding on sneaker technology and moving the industry forward by doing something like that. Right. So now this is a shoe that's going to be a combination of the two. So it's going to be interesting, like, how that's going to work because the the 4D is a much firmer like more rigid midsole and outsole than the Boost which right. is more soft and like um I don't want to say pillowy but like mm-hmm. it's more like foamish right, right. so it's it's going to be curious how those two are even going to work together or if it, it it might not even have Boost it might just be 4D only True. and just have that Ultra Boost like silhouette as the uh, as the upper of the shoe so yeah, but I feel like if they call it Ultra Boost it has to have the Boost well, right Well so I, I think it's called Ultra 4D is like what it says oh, on like the little like cap okay. on the back of the shoe so So people are assuming it's Yeah the people boost. are assuming it's Boost oh, cuz okay. it's that same silhouette but I don't know if it actually has I Boost cuz you you even saw like those um those Yeezy V3s that are coming out, the ones that we we're just talking about, the 700s yeah. that are coming out in December, uh-huh. those don't have any boost. Okay. So like that's 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 new. Like there's no boost in that shoe. Okay, so wow. it might even are they be cheaper. Oh no, we yeah, talked yeah, about yeah, those. Yeah, they yeah, are cheaper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it retails two hundred. Yeah. But um, so like Adidas might even be trying to move away from the boost technology because like even though it did come in and sweep everything and like it's still super comfortable, but right. it's, it's like it's now old tech. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. 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 Cool. Um, uh, one thing we saw, kind of just saw this, but a Colin Kaepernick. Yeah, um, some sneakers, sneakers dropping at yeah. the end of. I guess I guess I should have actually been in our. In I our, guess he didn't get a deal, so he had to list. come out with a shoe, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I, I, um, Nike's holding him down. Um, yeah, he's nah, getting some Air I, I Force like ones. They are. They, they've got his um his little like fro yeah. like logo on mm. the on the back heel caps. Yeah. I'm kind of iffy on Colin these days, man. Really? It's like it's not like I don't support the thing. I'm just kind of like, I don't say nothing to get me in trouble, but it's kind of <laughs> just like, I don't know, man. What I, you- I'm just not. It's not that I'm not as supportive, but it's almost like, bro, just shut up. 
What do you mean? You like, know? Like, it's, it, I what don't know. What he said to, to it's, shut it's up? Not that, it's, it's not a shut up about, like, what he said, but it's just, like, like I, the, the way the whole workout thing kind of played out kind of rubbed me the wrong way. But was it, I, I, was like that the his thing, fault? Like, I don't think it's that. But my thing is, like, I don't think he really wants to play football. Cause Why? It, because um, cause you, you can't have both. Okay, of what he's trying to do, because it's like it's either you're like this like fuck the system type of dude, or you want to play football. Because there's no way you can play football and do both. You know, in Why? my opinion. Why though? Because it's like you can't be like that against the owners, that against the NFL, and then still want to play for them. But how is he against the owners in the NFL? Is what I'm trying to understand. Look at what you got. Look at just anything that he's saying. You know, and it's like he's saying like they they set up this this uh, this workout for him, and he was like, Nah, I'm gonna do it at this spot. You know, and it's just like I mean, so. That workout was kind of bullshit, in my opinion. The workout they gave him was kind of bullshit. How? Because so it was it was last minute. It was more last minute than what he did. What do you mean? Like when he changed the thing to like a, a venue that was for like the spot that that they were at first was gonna have like twenty NFL. Like f- full disclosure, I'm not saying that the NFL is not full of shit. I think they're full of shit too. Yeah. Okay. Um. But like they were gonna have like twenty something. Uh scouts there and then they moved it to another spot like i think the workout was supposed to start at three and like at 250 they moved it to this other spot that was like 40 minutes away right but so i mean they 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 gave him if, if i'm not mistaken they gave him like less than 48 hours or something like that to when from when they initially announced like the, True. the i workout. think it was more than two days i, I, it was I, more I felt than like two we, days I, I felt like we knew for like like four or five days. I could be wrong. I could okay. be wrong. I could be wrong. I, I, might, be wrong. I, I, I might be misremembering yeah. it, but yeah. I, I, I remember listening to and hearing stuff about the fact that um, essentially it was it was a last minute thing in terms of what the amount of time he was given. Right. And it wasn't, it was just, it, it it felt rushed in general because like it's, it's it's a type of thing that like there shouldn't there shouldn't be like a short lead up to this like th- this should be something that is on a calendar that this is gonna be a workout that is happening like I feel, I feel you give give people a chance to fully plan because like th- think about it right if t- today's Sunday the fifteenth right yeah imagine if like granted right. It's something you're preparing for, you're training for, right? right. Like, let's let's say I was looking for a new job, right? And I'd been I'd been uh, like applying and stuff, right? And then all of a sudden, three days or four days from now, someone's like, "You have an interview coming up. You're going to do your best to prepare for that, right. but but it's not something that you had planned necessarily. So you're going to try to structure it in a way that fits your needs as much as possible. I hear you. At the end of the day, he still went through with the workout. He still showed that he's in shape. He still like so like yeah. to, to to say he doesn't want to play, I think is unfair because like. If if someone's training and is prepared and is ready to perform, like they've taken the steps that they're they're ready. I mean, I I, I get what you're saying though. Like, cause he had the whole thing with like the waiver and all that stuff. And for me, it's like I don't know. I got to see a waiver that they give to a regular person that's working out and what they gave to Collins. Yeah. You know. But I've heard. I mean, I've heard different reports. I've heard reports saying that both were the same. And I've heard reports saying, no, they weren't the same, you know? Yeah. But his whole issue was, like, based around this waiver, you know yeah. what I mean? And it's like, I'm not saying that either was right. I don't know, you know? But, like, um, so for me, it's like my whole thing. My thing is, like, it's it's almost like nitpicking. And some people were like, oh, well, do you want him to just, like, um, uh, stand down and, you know, just, you know, say F it and not stand up to, his, to, to them? And it's like... I mean, I feel you, you know, but it's, it's like, it's like, because uh, there's other people in the league, like uh, Reed, right, from, um, and it's like, he still plays in the league, but at the same time, like, whatever he's saying, Colin, not to do, like, Ed Reed, is that his name, Ed Reed? No, not Ed it's Reed. definitely not Ed Reed. No, no, not Ed Reed, that's a dude from the Baltimore <laughs> Eric Ravens. Eric Reed? Eric Reed, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, but he's doing those things that you're telling Colin not to do, yeah. you know what I mean? So, and that, that's just my whole thing, that's what I mean by, like, because, like, because essentially, again... Eric Reed signed that waiver that Colin didn't want to sign. And that's my whole thing about him not wanting to play like fully once a bit, where it's still where he still just wants to make these um these statements, which is fine. I have no issue with that. Like I'm I'm fully behind what Colin is talking about. Like, cause I feel like before Colin's fight used to be about like police brutality and injustice and this and that. And now it's just about the NFL, you know? And uh, we all know the NFL is full of scumbags. We know all those owners are full of scumbags. But it's like, do you want to play or not? <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like, you kind of have to, like, trust me, man. Like, I mean, I, my job, I like my job. My bosses are straight. But like, but there's plenty of people that work for companies that I'm sure their bosses are scumbags. But guess what? You still work there because you try and get a chat, you know? 
And my whole thing is like, are you trying to get a check or are you just trying to make a statement about your bosses being scumbags and then and then you're going at them? Yeah, I mean, I, I That's think... That's my whole thing. I feel you. I think it's a little unfair to... Because like we, we were just saying that we don't know if the waivers were different. For so sure. Like, I don't think it's yeah. fair to use that as a basis to... Uh, yeah. Just because we don't, we, we, we don't have all the facts. We, we don't, you know, for sure. And I... I uh, for sure, I'm not going to argue with that. Um, <laughs> it, it's, it, it's, it, it, no, we, we don't have fact, but I think that goes for both sides. Yeah, you know, so it's, it's like, so it's like at this point, it's like we we can all just make assumptions from like from the vibe that we yeah. get. You know, there's there, there's definitely one thing that I know that is a fact that like right. cannot be questioned right. is that he is good enough to play in the NFL. Oh, yeah, I, I I'm not gonna disagree um, with that at all. Like that, at least as a backup. Yeah, as a backup, know? like, like some least, uh, some of these yeah, trash nah, quarterbacks going nah, around the league. Like, that's like that's that's fact one hundred percent. I'm not that's I'm not arguing with that at all. Yeah. You know. Um, yeah, but yeah, but the shoes are alright. You know, I'm yeah. happy. I'm happy Nike's holding them down. Yeah, you know, I'm not gonna be like, like copping them. Or no, no, no. Whatever. I'm good. I'm good. Are they gonna go? I don't know if you looked in a thing, but are they going for like, um, is the money being donated to some like a, type a of cause or anything? Yeah, I'm not sure. True, I'm not sure at all. It, it's 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 also like it, it's just a, um, like it, it was it was a news story that was published yesterday. By Sneaker Bar Detroit is what I'm, where I'm reading it off of. So like, yeah. it could literally not even release this month. Like True. this is this is just initial rumors. I got but you. but right now it's saying the 28th. True. Yeah. Cool, cool. Um. So uh, there was a, a boxing fight uh yesterday, but also last week was the you mean UFC fight yesterday. Oh, excuse me, U- UFC fight yesterday, but then a boxing fight last week. Um, with uh Anthony Joshua versus yeah. Ruiz that rematch. Did you did you, did you uh, like watch that fight? Live? I didn't watch that fight, um, but I, I saw it. Let me just start off by saying I think Josh was overrated. Really? I think maybe not overrated. Where I think he's because I saw him fight the that first fight was really disappointing. Like to watch for sure, for sure. I think I saw him fight that. I think he was Polynesian, like New Zealand dude, and it's like he beat that dude, but he just didn't look that good to me. And like I think Joshua is um, he's dodging Wilder. Mm. I think he's dodging Wilder. Mm. That fight should have been happened. I think so. Yeah, Wilder's like a beast. Yeah. He's an animal, and the thing man. is, Wilder is not like technically he's not like a great boxer. Mm-hmm. He's just a puncher, bro. Yeah. And it's like he just needs to get you that one time, yeah. you know. And um, I'm not saying Joshua was trash, but he's um, definitely not trash. No, 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 not at all. You, you don't like get that. to where you at by being trash, yeah. you know. But I think that I don't think people try to say that he's the best in like the heavyweight division, and I'm not. I don't agree with that at all. Um, but that fight, I mean, he should have lost the first one, but then he did. But then the second one, that dude Ruiz was like, yeah, I'm going to come back. I'm going to be lighter. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And then he showed, I don't know if you saw the post fight. He was like, yeah, like, I'm paraphrasing, but he was like, yeah, I fucked up, man. And it's like, he, he showed up like 20 pounds heavier. And like, he just wasn't ready. Yeah, it's like, you, it's you, like, don't, you, don't, you don't want it at that point. At all. You don't exactly. want it. Like, like, that's want the type of all. thing, man. Like, after after you win that first fight, you come back, you train, exactly, you come back in dog. amazing shape. And exactly, you could, dog. You could literally be off to exactly. a great start for your career, exactly. man. Exactly. But like, he, he didn't want it, you know? Yeah. So. Um, but hopefully I just need to see, cause I think, no, Wilder, Wilder just beat somebody, right? Wilder just beat Ortiz. Um, and I think they got a, Wilder, no, no, Wilder's about to fight Fury. And I think whoever wins that one gets to fight Joshua, or at least that should be the case, bro. And it's like, we need to see Wilder and Joshua. Um, but we'll see. I think Joshua is better technically than Wilder is, but. Water is just, you know. Yeah, and I, I, I enjoy seeing that fight for sure. Oh, for sure, man. I, I can't wait. Yeah, um, I think too, because like if 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 Joshua has any, because like man, he was he was leaving himself open for Ruiz that first fight. Yeah. So like if he, because like I I I I didn't even watch the second fight. I, I saw some highlights from right. it and stuff. But yeah. um, if if he. If he like is open against Wilder, Wilder like clocks him or oh, hits yeah, him, like nah, it's, it's all it takes. Man. It's gonna be it's gonna be some problems. That's man. all it takes. Like it's all it takes. Um, but yesterday there was a fight, uh, the UFC fight. Yeah. With uh, his name is the Nigerian Nightmare. He took his screen name from 2007. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that, that used to be my OL instant messenger <laughs> screen name. And, and uh, against Colby Covington, and uh, they with Colby. He's like he runs around with like American American gritting and hat. And it's like, I saw somebody on Twitter, like, you guys know this is just a persona, right? Or like a, but I'm like, yo, like, yeah. I don't care, dog. If yeah. you're running around with a MAGA hat, then nigga, like, <laughs> you get your ass whooped. Yeah, that's what so, you want your persona and your association to be. Like, exactly, you still. exactly. <laughs> so the fact that he got his ass whooped by a Nigerian, I think, was amazing. That's hilarious, Like, dude. he broke his jaw. Somebody was like, make your jaw great again. Or like, <laughs> it's like, 
I thought it was, I don't even watch UFC, but I'm here for shit like yeah, that, bro. Man. Like, I'm here for that, bro. So, um, yeah, no, I, I'm happy that happened. <laughs> you know, like, let that be a lesson. But, um, yeah. Word, word. Yeah. As far as uh, you watching any sports right now, you're a Heat fan. Yeah. They, Heat, they pre, doing... pre LeBron Heat fan. Let me just say yeah, that. Nah, nah. First and I, foremost, I, I can it's attest, like back high school days. I can attest to that. I can, yeah. I can confirm that. Yeah. I know it was nice though when LeBron came. Yeah, right? it was amazing, man. <laughs> it was amazing. Yeah, I bet. Gladly, I was cocky as hell for like uh, four years, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. Like in those days, I used to hate LeBron, but let him come to the Wizards. I yeah, feel like man. you know, like, let's do it. Yeah. Um, but they're doing. I think they lost. To, no, they won. Luka Doncic went down yesterday, but they still like they were beating the Mavericks like tw- up twenty. And then the Mavericks took them to overtime and ended up losing, um, I think, by, like, one or two points. Um, but, yeah, man, the NBA is kind of exciting right now. Yeah, I think. absolutely. It's like, There's a lot of different teams that are doing pretty with, good. With the Warriors, like, being shit right now, it's like you got the Lakers are really fucking good. You got the Bucks are really good. Mm-hmm. Clippers. The Heat are good. Yeah, my uh, Clippers are yeah. good. They just lost to somebody that sucks, though. I forgot who. They lost, they lost last night to somebody that sucks. Um was 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 Kawhi actually playing though? I, I think so. I know they've been doing a lot of like load management stuff. I, I think so. Uh, I, 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 I saw <laughs> it, it, it was a meme. I think they lost to some team, and it was like uh, Kawhi was playing. It's like, hey, what do you think? Why didn't you load manage this game or <laughs> something like that? Um, but yeah, man. Um, I think the war. I think it's a lot of people are happy the words are sucking right now, but like. Think about it next year when everybody comes back. Yeah. When Clay Thompson comes back, Curry's gonna come back fresh, and then they might get like a top three pick. Yeah. You know, I don't. Do, do, I don't know how good the draft is, but like, do you think they'll make it through that though? Like, because like I'm not. I I've really been keeping up with the Warriors in terms make it of through what? What do you like, mean exactly? In, in terms of like, so like Clay's gonna come back from injury, right? Yeah. Um, Steph's gonna come back from injury, right? But like. I don't know what their contract situations are like. Oh, no, like, no, they're gonna be good next year. They're, they're, when I say they're gonna be good. Like they're they'll still be a gotcha. team next year. Like is, they, is they Draymond, just signed Draymond to like Draymond a four year deal. Yeah, okay. like they, they're all gonna be do there. You still want Draymond around? Huh? I said, do you still want Draymond? Well, why around? not? I don't know, man. Nah, I, I mean he's he's good for sure. He's definitely an, a nice and he's an important part of the yeah. team. But I feel like nah, I, I would definitely want him around, man. Like from what I see, he's a guy I would want on my team because yeah. I think he's like he's like the heart and soul of that team. That's what true. I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, we'll see. I I still think like pe- some people don't want to give Steve Kerr his his due. Yeah, and then they see this team sucking. Like, yeah, I told you he sucked. But like, yo, like they Popovich would make this team good, dog. Yeah. Like they, they don't, don't have, have any, anybody, they don't have any dog. Exactly. Yeah. They don't have anybody. You know so. Yeah. I'm excited to see what's gonna be for them next year. It's kind of crazy because they just got this new uh, stadium or whatever, and then they just, you know, suck. But, oh, um, but yeah, man, we just still suck though. That's my team, man. Like, yeah. I think with one Wall comes back, we'll be all right. Yeah, even even I mean, like like the you you're saying that the Heat. Um, being good, it's nice. Like they have, they have a bunch of young players. Yep. Um And the Heat have players that they were like, there are like that dude. None. He was undrafted. He mm-hmm. came from the Warriors, but the Warriors couldn't keep him. Mm-hmm. And it's like, it's just like raw talent, man. And it's yeah. like, and that's, that's that's like what they're what they're yep. known for is developing teams, exactly. developing players, drafting well. And like Riley always puts yeah, together. Riley's a good probably team. the best GM I yeah. think in the league, right? It especially has to, it has to be, especially because like the the Heat weren't bad for very long like they were nah. they were always like teetering like you know maybe yeah. maybe a potential playoff team even, even when they were bad they even were still when they were like bad. AC. yeah they're like eight seed yeah. like like still still give the fans right. something to like exactly and instead of this like there's so many teams right. that just tank and just like are so terrible like you don't have anything to get excited because those are poorly run uh, poor, organizations, poorly ran yeah. organizations absolutely man. like like i said riley knows how to do this shit you know yeah. so yeah and it's, it's funny too because like jimmy butler like everyone's giving him shit for Join like why would you like you talking about you want to win and then you're oh, going nah, to the they, heat they, and, yeah, they, and so they, like they, now 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 they're gonna be contending. I think they get better and I think I think they're gonna. I see the Bucks are really good. Yeah, the Bucks are really good. But I think the Heat could go to the Eastern Conference Final. Yeah. Yeah, I think they could. I guess it's just between them and Philadelphia, right? Between Bucks yeah, and Philadelphia. Bucks, Philly, but Philly just a fall always finds a way to like fuck it up. True. This could be the year. But man, that was fun way to playoff play playoff series. Jimmy Butler against his old team would be would be dope to see that. <laughs> yeah, but he didn't have too much animosity between tour. Actually, not he did, but he's not talking about it. Uh, yeah, I know he didn't like the 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 wolves. Yeah, he I mean, about hit, hit. true, true. Yeah, I guess that that was that was more yeah. of that. But I, I I feel like he said similar things in Philadelphia about he, when he came out. He 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 wasn't as vocal, but he was like getting with stuff. You know. Yeah. So, Cause I, yeah, yeah. 
So right, man. we'll see. Yeah, man. Christmas games. Uh, oh, Christmas games. I love that, man. Christmas NBA is yeah. better than Thanksgiving football. Oh, I agree, hundred <laughs> like, percent. I, I just say in general, NBA yeah. is better than football. Oh yeah, I'm surprised you say that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. so like, I don't know, man. I, I used to love football. Like, football was yeah. like I bled football always. Like, but right. it's just the sport is mad boring. Like, you you get a play, you go to timeout, yeah. you timeout, you commercial break. There's another commercial break. You kick a field goal. There's a commercial like, break. Like, I didn't love football until I started playing it, and I say this because I wasn't really playing. You know, I was just on the team, but like. Until I started, like, I started getting it. But before, that's how I felt because I was like, it's too much stoppage. And I yeah. still feel that way about, way like, too much stoppage, you know, man. but I like I like sports that are more fluid. Like, I don't watch that much soccer, but, like, that's why I like soccer better because mm-hmm. soccer is just, you just, just keep going. Through. Basketball is just keep going, yeah, you know? Man. So, like, soccer is no timeouts, dog. It's yeah. like, nigga, we play for 45 yeah. minutes. <laughs> it's like we take a break and yeah. we coming back for another 45 minutes, exactly, you know? Man. So. Plus, it's just it's just fluid. Like you see transitions, right? And play back and forth constantly. Right. Like like all the excitement that happens when like there's an interception and then the ball gets turned over and it's going yeah. the other way is just constant. Yeah. In, in in other sports, it so stop. yeah, man. True. true well, yeah, true. man. Yeah, I think I, I think we're at about the end of the show list cool. today. So so we'll see y'all. Yeah. Next week, um, the the Christmas social, week. Yeah, Christmas week. Definitely looking forward to that. We'll we'll have another pod out next week. Um, Social links, we're at Two Steps Pod on Instagram and Twitter. We're trying to do a better job with the Twitter, but the Instagram is is popping off. Yeah, um, it's, good, it's good on the Insta. Stuff. Let's do that. Um, uh, we'll be putting out a post just like we did last week as well um, that has like the releases we talked about and some of the things. We'll show images of like some of the SBs that we talked about while we're reminiscing and all that. Um, but thank you guys for joining us. Um, you can reach us again at Two Steps Pod on Instagram and Twitter. Um, looking forward to, to hearing back and communicating with you guys. Yes, sir. All right, enjoy your weekend. Peace. Or I guess day, because it could be any day of the week. You're listening to this. <laughs> but bye. <Bye-bye. laughs>